Bastille Day, which is a French holiday, is celebrated in French Polynesia by about a week of traditional local customs. Today's celebration that I was filming was the Cobra competition. So these are teams of men and women separately competing and also individuals to see who can complete a sack of Cobra first. Copra is a large source of money for Polynesians. They go out to these motus that have coconut trees on them, and they do exactly what you're seeing here. They take the meat from the coconut out and they dry it. These are collected in sacks, brought to the mainland, and eventually processed in factories to make the coconut oil that we love so much. Day two was spear throwing competitions. Here they have a coconut on a large pole, and they have these crazy, uh, very wavy looking javelin type of deals that they are competing to throw into the coconut. Each one has different colored markings on the end so they can tell at the end who had the most spears that went into the coconut. It looks super difficult and was very exciting to watch. Leo, Leo. After the festivities, it was time to get back down to business, so I took my boat to a more protected anchorage and started a project I'd been putting off for a while, which was replacing the throttle and gear shifter to a new one. For this project, I had no manual, no internet, and no knowledge of what I was doing, so I just took everything apart, looked at it, put it back together, and hoped that it worked. So here we go, replacing a throttle with my wits alone. <laughs> Enjoy. Welcome to Winter Peace Sailing. I am single-handing my Grind 27 around the world. I started my trip in Maine with a very cold 10-month overhaul of my entire boat. Solo sailed through the Caribbean, the Panama Canal, 41 days alone across the Pacific. And now I am sailing in French Polynesia, trying to learn French, living the castaway lifestyle of my dreams, and doing a bunch of awesome sailing. On board the Gek, I have no fridge, water maker, fancy electronics, and my dinghy is a rowboat with a sail rig. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing in my daily life, check out my Instagram, at BoatLizard. For the past couple months, this has been my throttle. I have my new replacement throttle, and first I have to start by clearing out my quarter berth so that I can access behind the old throttle, get it out, and see what I'm working with. Hopefully they're both the same size so that it'll be easy to swap it out, but it is possible that they'll be slightly different sizes and then I'm gonna have to adjust the shifter cables. This is the back bit of my new throttle. I just have to make sure that it fits in with my other ones. Fingers crossed this could be really easy fasty or it could be all day kicking things in desperation and frustration. <laughs> Let's take a trip back into the pit of doom. Alright, this is the old guy. First at a glance, they look to be pretty similar in size. This is the one that shifts into forward neutral reverse, and this is the one that puts the revs on. Right now, since my model is broken, this is the one that I disengage like that <laughs> when I need to charge my batteries. What's really important is to mark on these with tape exactly how they are now so that when I put the new uh, shifter in, I can see that these have the same adjustment. If you have to pull these out or in at all, now you're changing the tuning of the engine and how it idles and how much it revs and where it shifts and that's really bad. Okay, both of the gear shifter cables are out. So now I just have to unscrew this from the front and push the whole box out and then I'm ready to start replacing it. I've just kind of realized that in order to get this thing out, I think I'm going to have to take it apart. So I'm slowly taking all the pieces off. As you can see, I just took off this bit um, to see if I can push it out of the hole because there's a plate on the back that won't come through here. At the same time, I'm taking this one apart. I'm also taking the new one apart so that I can kind of see what I'm doing and make sure that Nothing's going to fall or get really fucked up. I am a little nervous because tomorrow morning, first thing, I have to leave. This really has to work by tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, everything disconnected and this guy, I'm just going to push out of here. Hopefully, fingers triply crossed, the new one fits into the same hole the old one came out of. Here comes the moment of truth. This guy doesn't fit through the old hole because um, 
this bit sticks out too far, so I'm going to bring them outside and see if I can get it in the other. Alright, I'm out in the cockpit. So this is the old one, and it sticks out a lot less far than the new one, so that's the big problem. So I'm thinking maybe I can get this one in. to put it into gears that these tabs are a little more flush with everything else. So to put it in gear, I have to put the handle on. It was tricky. There we go. Alright. And now I have to get the handle back off. And hopefully this will fit through now. It is pretty much in. Something's funky on the inside, so I'm going to go in and it's also raining. Alright, it just started raining and I now have a hole in my boat, which is great. Yes, okay, good. That looks good. Alright, out I go. No rain can stop me now. Oh wait, screwdriver. I'm so overjoyed that this works. <laughs> This should be caulked in, but before I do that, I just want to dry fit it and make sure that everything goes where it's supposed to go. Here's the new plate. I guess it goes like that. It's always good to do a dry fit before you caulk anything in. So it goes this, and then this, and then it even comes with a sticker. So the one kind of interesting factor in what I'm doing is that since my mom hand carried all this stuff down to French Polynesia from the US for me and she didn't want to have to pay customs or duty on it, she uh, took away all the instructions and user manuals so I got a bag of pieces which is what I've been assembling and the internet here isn't good enough to google things so I am just taking things apart, <laughs> hoping I can put them together and figuring it out as I go, which makes it a little slower, but also more rewarding because uh, I don't want to speak too soon, but it's going well. All right, I'm back in the little smell hole of my quarter berth and my next task is to put this back together. Okay, so I have the bottom one attached. It runs through here, and then it just naturally fits into the top of the two holes, so that's where I'm going to put it. And I got this because I always take a picture of the old one, and then you can see exactly how the run goes. So now I'm going to try to do the same with the top one. Top one's a little trickier because it has to run through this. Alright, everything is in place. Everything is led correctly. And now all I have to do is go outside and put the handle on and I need to get someone to be on the outside and shift for me while I'm in here just to make sure everything looks good. So I'm going to get Yarna and ask him to do some shifting for me to see if everything is behaving the way it should. While I was testing the capabilities of my new throttle, one of the cables slipped out of its jacket and won't go back in. So what I have to do is empty out the LAS so that I can get behind the engine and see what's happening on the engine side. Unfortunately, it's really hard to get to the back of my engine. It involves emptying out everything that I have in this giant lazarette. And that's why whenever I do things that involve playing around with the gear shifter cables, I always do them at the throttle end because it's much easier to access. The troll hole is prepared and I'm about to go down. Going down. Down, down, down to my favorite place, the troll hole. And here's the cable. So I'm just trying to see what's wrong with it on this end. Everything looks pretty normal on this end. Uh, so the lever is perpendicular to the boat. Do you see what I mean? I think that's normal. Yeah, so that's weird. I'm trying to move it, but I can't. Oh, did that do anything? 
Okay, so I found the problem. It's this cable, and what happened is when it slipped out on the clutch side, this lever, which should be all the way forward, was all the way back. So what I did is I can manually move it on this side, and I just moved it um, into its forward position on the engine, so now the wire should be in the right orientation to reconnect it to the throttle on the throttle side. So, oh, this is my least favorite place on my entire boat. Okay, so I think that now I can reconnect it on the throttle and try to uh, make that connection more secure so this doesn't happen again. But this is really good news because I thought it was broken and it's not. Now it's time to go into the slightly larger hole and try to put this cable back onto the shifter. So my problem was that when I installed this before, I had this piece flipped around. So first it went through these loops and then it went through this saddle piece. And that's because in the old one, that is the orientation of this thing. But I've flipped this piece around and now this notch is sitting really happily in this little horseshoe shape. And hopefully once I connect this end to here, it holds itself in place. Because what happened was that this slipped out and this got pushed all the way out and then the engine side was misadjusted to the throttle side. Everything is put back together. Can you go idle forward? Uh, more forward? Okay, back to neutral. No, it looks good. Okay, reverse. It does. My last task is to cock everything in and get the outside of this puppy solidified. It's been a really long day. This was supposed to take the morning, but as is the case with most boat projects, it took the entire day and the wind has filled in from the west, which means lots of fetch, which means rolly boat, which means everything flying everywhere. There we have it. One new throw, one tired holly, one messy boat. <laughs> I think it's time for uh, some dinner, maybe a cup of tea. Nothing as crazy as beer because, whoa, I already feel drunk. <laughs> Today is the big day. We are hauling Yarna's boat. Uh, it was supposed to be tomorrow, but all of a sudden it's this afternoon, so that's exciting and pretty classic for these tiny little boatyards. So, Yarna, what time did they tell you they were going to haul you today? Three or four. And what time is it now? I don't know, 5.30 or something. <laughs> sunset. It's a really pretty sunset. We're still here, waiting to see if they're going to haul us. Now we're talking about having a spotlight on the bow, so we can yes. see bombies. But well, probably it's not going to be dark enough for the spotlight. Yeah, so we'll use the keel to find the bombies you're hauling out yes. anyway. Possibly last time our little boat seas are going to be tied up like this. Well, the sun has officially set and there's no sign of the guy who's going to haul us. All right, it's the morning. We're all set to go. 8 or 8.30.
we're just boat shopping in the boatyard. Oh my god. I guess this one is free. <laughs> this is what happens when you go up on a reef. Terrifying. Terrifying. Look at this. And they must have just done this fix so that they could get uh, to here. Really professionally done, you can see. Really big fix. Whoa. And nothing cocked in, but the cool part is that you can actually see inside the boat. This is a cool boat. If this is your boat and you see this video, let's be friends. Invite me for coffee. I'll have you for coffee. Pelletier is pretty much stowed away. Tape over the solar panel on the Dodger because that doesn't really come off. No boom, all the halyards taped, everything cleaned up on the deck. It is wine o'clock. This is our last night on Pelleter. Kind of sad, kind of exciting, kind of everything all at once. Aaron is lighting candles and getting the wine ready. I'm playing a game called How Long Can I Take Between Showers? And the results are shocking. How does it feel? To be a landlubber. <laughs> to be a landlubber. Sucks. Hmm. What are your plans after this? Fly home, learn to weld, do something with my life, see the family, see the tiny Linus. I'm a cop father. What? Sounds so strange in English. Yeah, so Yarna is leaving his boat here for six to nine months and going back to Belgium to learn how to weld. This is goodbye for a wild boat and French Polynesia, the warm, blissful waters of tranquility and sharks. <laughs> so for those of you astute detectives who noticed in my last week's video that Yarna was missing, this is because I posted last week's video slightly out of order. I was just really excited to put it up and wanted to post it while all my friends were still around. So that video actually took place two months after this video that I just posted took place. Um, so yeah, Yarna hauled his boat out of the water, um, left indefinitely to go to Belgium to learn how to weld, make some money, see his family, and I'm once again hauling on my own. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's video. I put out new videos every two weeks on Mondays, and for my patrons, you guys get a snack on the weeks that I don't put out a big full YouTube video next week next two weeks in the two weeks the next video i finally i'm going to have my who is tish who is tish well she is my sister-in-law and she takes these videos i edit them here upload them onto dropbox which is the only website i found that supports intermittent internet connections and she takes them from there and puts them on youtube she also always reminds me that i need to put up videos so that i have something for you guys otherwise i'd forget so she is also partially responsible for my timely <laughs> schedule of uploading things. So that is coming up at the end of next week's video. Cool, cool, cool. If you'd like to become a patron, my Patreon is patreon.com slash <laughs> And for one-time donations, I have a PayPal. Paypal.m slash Links to both of those in the description below. Uh, thank you for your lovely comments. I read them whenever I get an opportunity. I think this video is going to be posted a little bit late because at the time of making this, there's no cell connection in the acreage where I am located. So that's the thing. Anyway, well, I'll see you guys in two weeks with another full-length video. Patrons, I'll see you guys next week.